What's up guys, Ovidov here. In this video, we're going to be talking about two applications that are not connected with each other. However, I decided to put those two together because I think separately these videos can be like way too short. As usual, all links in description, but follow them at your own risk. And also nothing here is financial advice, always do your own research. So first of all, recently Binance Labs invested in for projects for the season six of their most valuable builder program. So these apps are Outlayer that we do in campaign for on Galaxy, Outlayer Altitude, then Kelo X. I actually talked about it uh, in the pit. Third one is Kinza. This is landing protocol that we're gonna talk about in this video. Sleepless AI, I don't have any information about that, unfortunately. But going back to Kinza, so the acquired funding, so potential future benefits here are definitely possible. Unfortunately, they currently do not run any campaigns. So the only thing that we can do is actually transactions on chain. And since it's landing and borrowing protocol, Basically, what we can do here, we can provide some assets, maybe borrow assets. After you connect the wallet and application uh, on the market, uh, you can see the list of available tokens. I will go ahead and supply some of the BNBs. Let's see how that actually looks. We'll do 0.5. Collateralization is disabled. I wouldn't go too ham on this application uh, because I would rather wait on some campaigns. Okay, transaction was confirmed. Now if we go to the dashboard, we can see current position. You can withdraw, you can supply more other tokens. For now, I'll just leave this BNB here, maybe in a week or so. I'll borrow some assets for a week and repay that later. So I have several transactions spread in time. Moving on to Hello Protocol, this one is more interesting to my taste. First of all, this is basically has been merged. Hello merged with Sync Club and now they have the borrowing and lending platform together with the liquid staking on BNB. And just recently Binance invested 10 million in those protocols. They're holding early adopter campaigns where they hints in the airdrop pretty much right in the tweet this campaign is super time sensitive and includes pretty heavy on-chain tasks deadline here is august 12th 11 pm utc time so we just have hours and also in order to get this badge of the early adopter you will need to mean some snbnb and for minting snbnb you need to stake uh, the minimum of 0 0.502, well, roughly half of the BNB. And also on top of that, you cannot just stake and then withdraw in like half a day after campaign is complete. The withdrawal delay is going to be 7 to 15 days, I believe, depending on the network. I'm not sure how this works. On the Galaxy, it also states if you have minted SNBNB, feel free to collect your AT NFTs as we will be using it to identify our early adopters. So don't give it away. Plus the hint in the tweet, probably we're gonna see some rewards in the future. I myself definitely gonna participate. I'm just waiting to transfer some BNBs that are currently frozen. However, the early adopters is not the only campaign that currently is taking place. We also have the campaign on quest and for 500 hay and hay is the stable token of this protocol so it's effectively 20 usd uh, this one is purely social you can participate that it's a simple raffle 25 lucky winners basically getting 20 usd each deadline here is an eight days second raffle is taking place on the galaxy this one is more time sensitive it's gonna end on August 16th, here price pool is larger, 2.5k stables. However, this involves on-chain tasks. As you can see, there are three categories here. In the first one, the task is be a high holder. Second one is mint any amount of SNBNB. And this one is obviously connected to the early adopters campaign. If you're doing early adopters, you're basically getting this 1 OAT and 50 points for free. 
Also OAT mint here is gasless. And the last category is B, the hay borrower. Also regarding the prize pool distribution, there's going to be 125 lucky winners, again with the 20 hay each. Not too many people participating, 1.3k participants in general. I don't know where is the number of minted nfts because this is basically the number of entries i'm not sure where to find that in the new galaxy interface that sucks in my opinion by the way because i think it's taking account all participants including those who didn't complete on chain tasks so i think some people here are not even going to be eligible for the raffle and it makes our chances to win even better but anyway how can we do the on-chain task again category number two connected to early adopters and to liquid staking so that's going to depend on whether or not you're doing this now category number one and category number three be a hay holder and also be a hay borrower most efficient way would be to borrow hay on the helio app this way you can provide bnb or busd as a collateral with the busd you obviously get in uh, higher collateral ratio because this is stable to stable however there are also some limitations here like for example, if we try to supply BNB, the minimum amount of supplying uh, providing collateral is 0.1 BNB. And also on top of that, it says that borrowing starts from 50 hay. So even if you supply 0.1 BNB, that's only like 24 USD and you're only getting 66% of that. So you effectively can only borrow 16 hay, roughly 16. So you need to provide a lot more BNB as a collateral or BUSD in order to borrow 50 hay. So you borrow 50 hay and then both your tasks should be completed because you're going to be holding hay in your wallet and then you're also completing the borrow task. Uh, the second possibility here is to not do the borrow task and actually get the very small amount of hay by swapping USDT or BUSD to hay on Wombat Exchange or Pancake Swap. So it seems like this is the only possibility to participate here with a very low budget. So that's all I want to cover here, links are in description. If you decide to participate, uh, check the guides prior to doing any on-chain actions to understand all of the limitations. And as usual, always do your own research. That's all for now. Thank you very much for watching. If you found video helpful, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.